Good morning, kids. Today we're in Unit 1, Lesson 8, and we are going to talk about subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. And the process is the same as it was when we were adding fractions with unlike denominators, but we're subtracting instead of adding. So we still need to find that common denominator. And remember, the smallest possible common denominator, or the least common denominator, is going to be your best bet. We'll go ahead and start with number one here, and we have one third minus one seventh. And when we're subtracting, we need a common denominator, and this a common denominator here, because three cannot go into seven evenly. We are just going to multiply them by each other. So remember, whatever we do to the denominator on either side, we also do to the numerator. So this one we're going to multiply top and bottom by three, and this side we'll multiply top and bottom by seven. And 7 times 1 is equal to 7, and 7 times 3 is equal to 21. So we have 7, 21, m minus 1 times 3 is 3, 7 times 3 is 21. So we have 7 over 21, or 7 21sts, minus 3 21sts, and our denominator stays the same, so it stays as 21, and 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. So our answer is 4. 21st or 4 over 21. If you look at number 2, you have 4 fifths minus 8 fifteenths, and obviously 5 is a factor of 15, so you can multiply 5 or 4 fifths by the multiple of 3, so top and bottom by 3, to get fifteenths as your denominator. If you look at number 4, you can see you have 1 hundredths and 20 fifths, and 25 is a factor of 100, so you're going to need to figure out what do you need to multiply 7 20 fifths by to get that to be hundredths. So 25 times what is 100, and that's your multiplier, top and bottom. We're going to head go ahead and look at number 7 and 8. It says circle the greater fraction, then write and solve a subtraction problem to find the difference of the fractions. Well, in order to circle the greater fraction, you're going to have to compare those first. So first one we have 9 tenths, and we're comparing that to 11 twelfths. First thing we have to do is find our common denominator. And we know that all the multiples of 10, we go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And 12, we have 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. So 12 times 1 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36, 12 times 4 is 48, and 12 times 5 is 60. So we know that we have 60, which is a common multiple of both. So 10 times 6 is equal to 60. Whatever we do to the top, we do to the bottom. And 11, or excuse me, 12 times 5 is equal to 60. So top and bottom, 11 times 5 is equal to 55. 12 times 5 is equal to 60, and 9 times 6 is equal to 54, and 6 times 10 is equal to 60. And now we're comparing 54 sixtieths to 55 sixtieths. And we know that 55 sixtieths is bigger, or 11 twelfths is bigger. And so it says circle the greater fraction. Now we can do that, and then it says then write a subtraction problem to find the difference. And you could write any subtraction problem on your own. And we're just looking for an equation here. I'm not asking you to write a story problem, but just an equation, okay? And so it, we have a greater fraction, which is 11 twelfths. So you could write this as 11 twelfths minus 9 tenths is equal to. And then remember, you need a common denominator so that you can solve it. and we know that we had a common denominator here of what? 60. So 11 twelfths is really equal to 55 sixtieths in our problem above here. And we have 9 tenths, so minus 9 tenths, which is equal to 54 sixtieths. And then we can go ahead and subtract, which is really 1 sixtieth. So you can go ahead and write our original problem, which was 11 twelfths minus nine tenths 
is equal to, and then we converted it to a common denominator, 55 sixtieths minus 54 sixtieths is equal to 1 sixtieth. And if you can't see that very well, you can see that we have it right here, this equation, and solved. And you can go ahead and do number 8 on your own. And I'm going to just clear my board here. Remember, at any time in the video, you can pause or rewind if you need to go back and check something out or look at something. So we're going to go ahead and look at number 9. Number 9 says, Mary passes the library on her way to school. The distance from Mary's house to the library is 3 eighths mile. The distance from Mary's house to the school is 4 fifths mile. How far is it from the library to Mary's school? Well, the library is on the way, so this is going to be a subtraction problem. We know the total distance from Mary's house to school is 4 fifths of a mile. And along the way, she passes the library, which is 3 eighths of a mile from her house. And so this is going to be another subtraction problem. Again, we need to first find ourselves a common denominator. And this is a case where we're just going to multiply the denominators by each other. And so 5 times 8 is equal to 40. And remember, whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. And 3 times 5 is equal to 15. And then we'll come to the other side, and we have to multiply both top and bottom by 8. 8 times 5 is equal to 40, and 8 times 4 is equal to 32. And so now we have 32 fortieths minus 15 fortieths. Remember our denominator stays the same, it stays fortieths. And 32 minus 15 is 17. And so 17 fortieths of a mile from Mary's house to school. 17 fortieths of a mile. Number 10 is a three-step problem. It has a part A, a part B, and a part C for you to complete. It reads, Tim spends about one-third of each weekday sleeping and about seven-twenty-fourths of each weekday in school. A asks, what fraction of the weekday does Tim spend either sleeping or in school? And this is another one where you're combining those two because it's wondering how much is he spending either in school or sleeping. And so you're going to have to add them together. So figure out that fraction. Find yourself a common denominator. Write the equation and show your work. B, is this more or less than half of a day? And then C, how much more or less? B, you're comparing that fraction. Right, you're comparing the fractions, and then C, you have to do a subtraction problem, so it's a three parts. So go ahead and do number two, four, five, six, eight, and ten on your own. When you're finished, please take a picture of your work, attach it to, to your assignment, and turn it in on Teams. Thank you.